Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Straight away, we are going to start with our dynamic stretches without wasting any time. Uh, the first stretch being the greatest stretch of all time, the one which I do every day uh, before starting my workouts. So let's do five repetitions on each side. Uh, today we are going to work on our shoulders. I did mention this in my last video before closing, so no surprise here. So. Let's finish our five repetitions on each side. By now, I'm pretty sure you must have gained almost all the expertise possible in this particular stretch. If you're able to go down way lower than I can at this moment of time, please do, please do uh, go as far low, as lower as possible. It's a good stretch for your glutes and your hamstrings. Just make sure you're well balanced and the focus always remains in terms of uh, you know getting an overall stretch as you can see how my hands go in a straight line to get that upper back stretch just finishing up the last rep and let's sit down to be open my hips so Let's move on to our warm-up. For my warm-up, I'm going to do two warm-up exercises. The first one being the regular over-the-head plate rotations. Or if you do not have a plate, you only have a dumbbell. You can do it with a dumbbell too. You can hold the dumbbell in between and rotate it around your head. This particular warm-up, make sure that your uh, shoulders are completely unlocked. You get the uh, shoulder joint, which is a ball and socket joint going through its complete range of motion both external and internal uh, rotation so when we start performing our exercises it's much more uh, active it's much more there's much more blood in there so ensuring that we get the work done efficiently and there is no misfiring or uh, inactive muscles during our working sets for my second warm-up i'm going to use the uh, band resistance band just we have done this before also simply take a resistance band hold it with both your wrist make sure your elbows are just parallel at 90 degree the entire focus has to be on ray delt contraction the ray delt is located just behind your uh, front shoulder so just under just connecting under your armpit from behind your neck so I'm trying to open my arms by contracting that small muscle or the small muscular area which uh, which can pull my arms apart without me uh, moving my elbows away from my body. You can see I have uh, moved to my sideline to show you exactly how or which muscle I'm trying to contract. If you look at exactly at my shoulder level the small contraction, the small movement of my shoulder joint causing external rotation is what I'm trying to do. And that's it for our warm-up. Let's move on to our working sets. We are going to do uh, overhead shoulder press for my first exercise, for our first exercise. So in this gym, there is an overhead uh, shoulder press machine. So I'm going to use that. I'm going to do three sets, 12 repetitions each. If uh, you have this machine, please do it along with me. If you don't have it, we have previously done it with dumbbells. You know how to do it. Just make sure your elbows are not flared out completely. They should be uh, in front of you, like you can see in the video while I'm doing both these sets. Make sure the weight you start with is a challenging weight. You don't have to start with very small weight and then slowly build up you can do that too it's absolutely fine but in our program we want to start with a heavier weight in between the sets i'm just taking uh, 40 to 60 seconds of break because this is a machine based exercise and it, the setup is pretty well done i just need to you know take out the pen put in a pen and i'm well supported and usually the thing i like with uh, doing a workout on a machine is that the ergonomics or the motion is pretty well calibrated so i don't have to worry much in terms of my form and in terms of working my muscle 
as you can see i was almost nearing my failure so i paused for 10 15 seconds on my last set and then i went again to complete my last few repetitions got a good amount of working done especially on my front delts my lateral delts were okay i mean uh, not as much as my front delt but my front delt was really fired up in this particular exercise so that's the reason i choose to do this particular exercise for my second exercise it's basically lateral raises using the cable machine with tension so side lateral raises if you don't have a cable mach uh, machine and if you have resistant tubes you can use that the setup is pretty simple we have done this in a, in my previous uh, workouts also wherein i did not have this machine at my disposal so i used the resistance tubes you can do the same if you, if you also don't have this machine but if you have this is how it is done if you don't even uh, if you don't have the resistant tubes you can also use just dumbbells and do the lateral dumbbell raises which also i have shown in my previous videos how how it has to be done when i do it on this setup as you can see like i did with my resistant tubes i let my arm go behind my body near or even cross my midline of my body to get that extra stretch on my uh, side delt and then raise it up from there even when the rope is almost mid at the midline of my body there's still tension in the rope i stand in such distance so the uh, weights are never racked completely two uh, i'm going to do three sets 12 repetitions for you don't have to necessarily increase much weight here the focus here has to be on the repetitions and getting the contraction so as you can see i'm i was going really slow i was trying to feel the weight pulling me and consciously putting the effort of slowing down the weight as it goes down focusing on the eccentric movement make sure you always let the weight go behind you way past your midline of the body to get that extra bit of stretch and from there when you try to pick up you feel that excellent contraction happening all the way up the uh, strength curve or the uh, tension curve on cable machines are very uh, excellent choice especially when you are doing shoulder exercises for any exercise but for delts i really like it because unlike dumbbells once at the lowest point where there is no tension on dumbbells with dumbbells on cable the cable is always pulling you across so there's constant tension in uh, in between these sets i am just taking again 30 to 60 seconds of break only because machine uh, supported exercise not much to uh, you know work on and not doing extreme amount of weight keeping it pretty simple so three sets 12 repetitions each hand good amount of work for our lateral delt i would like to be a little bit more straighter but i think i was straight it's just the uh, the way i place the camera looks like i'm standing a little bit at an angle but i was standing straight and my hand was moving all the way behind me if for any reason you are unable to do this exercise and feeling a bit of discomfort you can do it without weight practice it without the weight if you still have restrictions you might need to get it checked uh, there might be some kind of uh, impingement or some kind of fro uh, frozen shoulder but regardless i hope none of those cases are uh, true for you that's it last few reps for my left hand i i got a really good contraction on my uh, lateral shoulder head lateral delt after this we move on to our rear delts so let's begin with that for our rear delts i'm go i'm doing the usual which we always do i have set up an inclined bench 
the incline is just about at 45 degrees grabbed a couple of dumbbells which I can control the weight not very heavy not too light that I don't feel the uh, stress on my rear delt and now I simply push the dumbbells behind my body and when I do that remember that all those muscles which are behind your shoulder they try to contract to bring your arm behind you might feel a little bit of upper trapezium activation which is common because while doing this exercise once you're at the topmost range and you create that extra push trapeziums jump in so just switch the angle a little bit so you can see me more clearly in three sets 12 repetitions challenging weight weight shouldn't be very easy that you know the pushing is absolutely uh, easy you have to feel the stress I think you can see it in my face how uh, challenging it was for me every repetition the small pinching uh, pain behind my shoulder with every contraction but that's what we want to get done that's a very small muscle to focus on so the more challenging it is the more work we get done let's go for our last set uh, do take uh, breaks if you feel that you need a uh, longer break more than 60 seconds up to 90 seconds even one, 120, 120 seconds is not really required because these muscles are pretty small and they recover pretty quickly but if you do please do take that break but otherwise you can quickly switch because once the setup is done and the weight is challenging enough you don't have to move anything much you can sit on the bench itself during the break and quickly get into the work exercise that's it we are done with this exercise now let's move on to our next exercise for my next exercise i'm going to work on my calves it's been i don't know a couple of days or a day i don't remember exactly but as as a shot to my own self i'm going to work on my calves a lot more this time i'm going to i'm, I'm using a smith machine you can see how i set it up i took a step up box placed it just under the smith machine I placed a small, a heavy dumbbell, not a small dumbbell, heavy dumbbell in front of, on the step up box so it doesn't uh, trip off while I'm at the, on the other edge. Just for my safety, you, I suggest and I recommend you do that too if you're going to do this setup. And the dumbbell has to be heavy enough, at least half your body weight to make sure it doesn't, the box doesn't, usually the good step up boxes don't move. But uh, still, safety is our first concern. So I'm basically doing standing calf races, two sets. I was trying to get as many repetitions as possible with that load, which is about, I think I loaded 50 uh, kilos with both the plates together. And I was trying to be as explosive as possible on my uh, raise up motion. Again, simple setup, doesn't take much time easy to execute the break in between is dependent upon your calf muscle recovery that's it we are done with the calf races for my next exercise i'm going to do front races for my front races this time instead of doing with dumbbells i'm going to use the cable machine because that's available and i really like to do it because of the constant tension it provides me uh, we do it like we do the uh, front races as you can see I'm doing I'm going to do again three sets up to 12 to 15 repetitions make sure when you're raising the cable it comes up to or above your eye level to get that extra amount of contraction and let the cable go beyond or pull your hand beyond your uh, midline of your body so the cable should always be under tension three sets uh, the break in between again 30 to 60 seconds not long breaks so you can see clearly how the cable goes down below behind my body 
and the cable is still under tension and from there when I pull up my latch uh, sorry my front delts are working really hard to get the weight till my eye level you might feel a little bit of contraction in your uh, chest muscles also that's absolutely fine chest also does adduction so that you would feel a bit of contraction in your chest muscle but most of the work was done with your friend dead and for my last exercise I'm going to do bus drivers there was a medicine ball available and the weight was good challenging weight 8 kilos so I'm using that if you don't have that you can use a dumbbell the plate like I have done in my previous videos absolutely your choice the cue here is to make sure you exaggerate the turn you cause that internal rotation and feel that uh, feel the front delt completely pinching into your chest you can see it in my face how challenging it was I have done two sets 12 repetitions and it got my shoulders on fire and we'll finish off with decompression but if you like this workout and you were able to complete all the workout pretty simple not complicated please do like the video it gives me a lot of positive feedback if you are watching all my videos if you're following the workout routine all I request you is to subscribe to my channel it gives me again a lot of positive feedback here you can see I'm decompressing my shoulder by doing small circles on the floor just trying to reach the floor but not actually touching it letting my shoulder joint freely move through and if you have any feedback uh, feel free to drop it in the comments I would go through all the comments as in when they come and try to implement them in my programs when, if, the, if, the, if there's a workout related feedback but again thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you in tomorrow's video you have a very good evening.